To create our grid document, we're going to work in InDesign. So I'm clicking on InDesign and I'm going to create a new document. Here's the dialog box for the new document. Okay, first thing we want to do is this is set to pikas. I'm going to set the unit of measurement to inches. Our document is going to be 8.125 by 10.5. It'll make it a little bit smaller. It'll actually fit on a page if you're printing it at home. Orientation is portrait. Now, what we want, what we're designing here is a is a spread. And a spread consists of two pages. And if you look at a book or a magazine or something, when you first look at it, it has one page, which is the cover. And then when you open it up, after that it has two pages. If we start this document on page one, then we'll have a single page followed by a single page. We in fact want two pages together, so we're going to tell this to start on page two. And then we're going to create our grid here. Our grid is created with columns. I'm going to click on preview. And if you look here, you see that I have a three column format, three columns on each page. I'm going to go to margins and I'm going to make the bottom margin 0.75 inches. Oh, right. In order to, I'm going to change this back to 0.5 because I made a mistake. If this lock is, or this chain link here is unbroken, then if I change one of these, it will change all of them. If I break this lock like that, then I can tell the bottom to be 0.75 inches. And there goes that. Then one last thing we need to change is when you create a document, when you create a magazine or something like that, if the image runs all the way to the edge of your page, if that's all it does, the printer is going to need to trim it out very exactly in order to keep there from being like white slivers of extra paper around the side. Um, printing or trimming is a very exacting thing. Um, but it is not generally done as exact as you'd like to think. So what we actually need to do if we run a color or an image or something to the edge of a page is that we actually need to do something called bleed, where we bring it out past the edge of the page. So I'm going to add bleed 0.125 inches to this document. And then I think that's everything I needed to do. 8.125 by 10.875 units or inches. Orientation is portrait. 
two pages, start on page two, facing pages, columns are three columns, column gutter um, is equivalent to one pica, margins half an inch top, half an inch inside, half an in, half, 0.75 inches bottom, and 0.5 inches on the outside. And then the bleed is 0.125 IN all the way around. I click Create. Your document should look like this. This red, this is the edge of the page where the white ends. This is, this red mark here is the bleed. So if I have an image that runs to the edge here, I need to actually pull it out farther. And that gives us our basic document.